polar molecules have unequal distribution. of electron density in them, okay? So we talked about fluorine, how it's equal and opposite, right? And how hydrogen chloride, for example, would be unequal, unequal bonding. Now it turns out when you have something like um, that's linear, for example, This oxygen is delta minus, this oxygen is delta minus, and this carbon is delta plus. There is a polar bond in equal and opposite directions. So we say that this molecule is nonpolar. All linear molecules are nonpolar. Okay? It doesn't matter if you have the carbon dioxide, which falls into the EX2 group, or xenon fluoride, which falls into the, if I remember, EX2 U3 grouping. Okay? So all linear molecules are nonpolar. BF3 has three polar bonds that point into corners of a triangle, and that's also nonpolar. Okay? Methane, well, let's just do chlorine here because chlorine's a electronegative atom. Okay, that was quick, but I counted delta minus on the chlorines, delta plus on the carbons. So you'd have to imagine some s astronauts going out into space and playing tug of war in a weird way in three-dimensional space. Uh, you have four bonds that are all pointing into the corners of a tetrahedron, and that's also nonpolar. Okay, so let's go back to our table and just uh, highlight this really quick because I think I might be running out of time. Um, let's use uh, blue. We haven't used blue before. What are the nonpolar molecules? Okay, uh, let's make a note nonpolar. Let's circle that label. This is going to be nonpolar. This is going to be nonpolar. Whenever you have a molecule without lone pairs on the central atom, it's going to be nonpolar. That's an easy way to remember it. However, there are some symmetrical examples that are nonpolar as well. And that's right here, which is linear. That's right here, which is linear. And that's going to be, uh, where's that? Right here, right here, the square planar, which is like two linear molecules together, okay? So those are outside the purple, but you can see how, like, if you don't have lone pairs on the central atom, it's going to be symmetrical and it's going to be um, nonpolar. But there's a caveat for that, and I just want to emphasize that here. It's equal and opposite, okay? If I have a molecule like this with uh, four bromines, I need to recognize that all of these bromines are equal in electronegative strength and it's going to be nonpolar. Okay? But a molecule like this, chloroform, is going to be polar. Okay? It is going to be polar because hydrogen is not the same as chlorine. Okay? So keep that in mind. The outside peripheral atoms have to be all identical for it to fall into that category of a blue circle on that table. Okay? So that's it for today, uh, for now, and we have a couple more lectures. Well, it's difficult to explain the pace of this chapter, but um, that's where I want to end today's class.